Happy hump day. What day is it? Sorry, I love that commercial. Galactic Britney here again. Getting used to that name. Um, so it's day three of my fast. I had a wonderful day yesterday. And I started thinking right before I got to bed. Like everybody thinks of a fast as sort of not necessarily a fun thing. But I said, you know what? I changed that belief and it's gonna be a fun fast. Um, why not? Because I've I don't know, I've had some fun, you know, just from not watching mess garbage. Um, I can already, like, I'm using that time for something else. I got out my flute. I haven't played the flute since I was 21 years old. I'm now 35. And so, I sort of had to reteach myself a few things. But, I played a couple songs. Um, still don't feel good enough to be sharing it with y'all yet. But, well, I'll get there. Um, I did share it with my soul family. And my parents and my and my other half and they were all very happy about it so um i'll get there to be able to share it with y'all but i I played over the rainbow i thought that was a a good song um but yeah so this is a fun fast i'm gonna say um because i already see an awesome things happening in my life um and just i'm feeling good um you know, I don't even know what to tell you, but, you know, maybe give, just give up a little something. You don't gotta do a whole, you ain't gotta fast food, fast food, <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't have to stop, you know, you, it doesn't necessarily have to be food. It could be, like, a, like I'm doing TV and movies, or it could be just some social media. It could be anything that takes a lot of your time, and maybe just use that time for something else getting closer to God, um, if people don't want to use God, you source the universe, whatever you want to call it, can't get wet by the word water, so, that's what Alan Watts says, um, so, whatever you want to call them, whatever resonates with you, um, you know, that works, because I know some people were raised very religiously, and just the word God sort of turns them off because of what's been, um, indoctrinated into them, and I completely get that. I went to a private Christian school for 13 years, and um, they, they were independent Baptists, and then I was also went to a Southern Baptist church for um, majority of my life, so I get it, you know, um, but uh, I still say God. I've learned that that God I was taught about isn't quite right, but the, everybody that was teaching me only told me what they knew. Um, at the time. So, and I mean, that's what we all do. We all do the best we can with what we know. Um, and, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, but, yeah, so, um, I got really creative also last night. I only got my flute out, but I did a video instead of on my, um, phone. Did it on my laptop, so I was able to do a little bit more, a little different things, a little bit longer video. I shared... Um, Cape CBD from Auntie Nelly. It is um, God's recipe. Some good stuff right there. Um, and if y'all want to know any more about it, just email me. I put my email in the description. Um, but it's, it, I can give you the ingredients. She'll give you the recipe. Um, so you can make it your own. You know, um, but it's, you know what's being put in it. And you know who's making it. Um, and that's good because there's a lot of places you don't know what's being put in the stuff that you're using every day. And, um, yeah, so that's always good. But I, I shared about the Cape CBD oil and then I also, um, shared some stuff about my essential oils that I like to use. Um, they're fun. They're, they smell good. They make you feel good. Um. But also with those, you want to make sure you're getting high quality. Also, you want to know what's in them, where they're being made. And I get all my stuff from Young Living. And you can actually go to all their farm. I, I believe you can go to any of them. But um, I'm not sure right this second. But used to before the craziness, um, you could go to any of their farms and watch like them. 
you can look at the farms that have been picking, like the lavender and distilling, all of that. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. So, just want to make sure you're getting the good stuff for sure. So, the CBD cape oil and the Young Living oils together, I mean, definitely helping me through this fun fast. Um, for sure. So, anyways, and then, um, with my fast, you know, I've, it's with my parents' church. Um, you know, I, I, they send out a little reminder and a little video and then Bible verses you can read and then a bit, um, a song, like a praise and worship song, which is really cool. They've really done this well. Um, today was talking about Psalm 23. Um, if you don't know it, it's the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, want, um, he, and you know what? I used to think when he says I shall not want, I was thinking, why wouldn't you want him? But it's meaning, the Lord is my shepherd. I don't lack anything. Like, I don't need anything. I don't want anything. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. That's, it's that old version. In the newer versions, they have it. Uh, I lack nothing. Um, but I like the old the old school way. Just because that's the, rare, the one I always read when I was younger. Um, but obviously needed to look in that meaning. But yeah, so the Lord is your shepherd. You shall not, you don't lack of anything. Um, meaning, like, the Lord, God, source, the universe will provide. He is our provider. She is our provider. It is our provider. Whatever you want to call it. Um, and trust that you'll, you're not going to lack anything. Um, just like I said in my video last night, you put out that lack vibration, you're going to get more of it. Wherever vibration you're putting out is what you're going to get back. So, feel whole and complete. You don't need anything outside of yourself. We have everything we need right within us. We don't need to be searching outside of ourselves. Everything's within us. God is within us. God is in our hearts. Um, so, we don't need anything on the outside. God will provide, and we have to have faith. Um, I truly believe these days we're really getting our faith tested. We have to trust. Trust we know that everything is working out for good, um, even if it looks crazy right now. Um, please don't watch the crazy mainstream media mess. Just if you do, take it with a grain of salt. I can tell you a lot of that's going to be telling you what they want you to hear um and i mean that it's been like that for a while and i always even before i truly knew that i never really wanted to watch the news because i mean i'm like everything was negative why would you want to watch that and i was like I, I i can look and find enough negative on my own i don't need it like broadcasted into my living room um but i never felt i never felt a good energy from the news, the mainstream media, and there was a reason why. Um, usually, if you have a feeling like that, you should listen to it. That's your intuition. That's another thing I'm trying to work on during this fun fast is my intuition. Um, you know, they say your intuition, like if it's question or whatever, first two, three seconds. After that, your ego and everything's getting in the way. So, I've been sort of doing some practicing. Also, um, there's some videos on YouTube. There's a video for everything on YouTube. There's a videos on YouTube. You can work on practicing on your intuition. So, lots of fun things going on these days. Um, but, anyways, I think that's all I got for us today. Um, I might do another video tonight because I had a good time doing that one last night with my laptop. Because you have so many more options you can do on a laptop than you can do on a phone. Um, so, yeah. Who knows what I'm going to do next. Only I was only on my second day and I am already pulling out my flute and doing these long YouTube videos. I don't know. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. So, that's what we need to do. Wake up every day. Be excited to see what's going to happen. I mean... It's really hard sometimes. You gotta train yourself. But wake up and say, I'm so excited for the miracles and awesome things coming my way. Or whatever you want to say. Something like that. Um, I, you know, and my daughter was like, well, what if it doesn't happen? Well, if it doesn't happen, what, what is it going to hurt for you to not to have a, a positive outlook on the, on the day? 
And also, that is another way of training your brain to look for the miracles and the good things that are happening in the day. It may not happen that day, or who knows, that bad thing you think happened could be the road to something good. I was just listening to the song by Dan Gokey. Um, maybe you just haven't seen it yet. Uh, and it's, you know, God is working. We might, but we might just not see it, you know? Like, it, we could be right on the edge of a breakthrough. And we don't even know it yet. But God's working. Just like there's things going on in the behind the scenes that you'll never see on the mainstream media or anything like that. Um that is going on in the world and it's God working he's putting all these things together and we're going to eventually see it so we just haven't seen it yet and we just need to be patient so I mean remember Moses waiting at the end and waiting at the Red Sea and all the um can't even think of the Egyptians maybe the Egyptians I don't know you know people with Pharaoh <laughs> I can't even think it. They're all waiting at the Red Sea. And they're like, oh my God, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And right in God's divine timing, helped Moses part that Red Sea. And got them safe across. So, let's just be patient. Know that God knows the right timing. If I did everything my way, I wouldn't be living in Florida right now. Because I did not really want to move here. And this was the best thing I could have ever done. I mean, honestly. So just because you think something's bad, hindsight is twenty twenty. It could be the most wonderful thing ever to happen to you. Just be open to that. Alright, I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all next time. Have a wonderful day. And like, share, subscribe, all that doodads. And yeah, love y'all. Bye. Galactic Britney. Out.